In Jesus' name. Listen. You know, part of Satan's system of walking is that he measures up. There is what we call. There is what we call in spiritual warfare and contention. Demonic collateral. Let me tell you what it means. Listen to me. When Satan wants to contend with you, your destiny, or the things standing before us, he will look at us and see the possibility of suffering a measure, of, a measure, a level of damage. He will say, I am willing to suffer this damage and still bring you down. And many times, if you look at the things that has happened around your life, around the church, we find out that it's not as if people did not do some things. But Satan measured their impact and found out that it's a price that he's willing to pay. So he decided to lose a few things. Are you getting the point? He decided to lose few battles so that he can win the war. If you are intelligent, your interest will be the war, not the few battles. Follow me now and see what I mean. Huh? Satan doesn't have, he doesn't understand the system of Kayanos. Let me hear you a little. You are too long. He doesn't understand the system of Kayanos. Fresh emphasis of God. I hope you know that nothing happens, including Satan cannot act. Satan doesn't have any project. He is waiting on God's project. Huh? Until God begins to announce a new thing, the activities of Satan is still dormant. He will still stay where he used to stay. The reason why I'm telling you this is that the arsenals that Satan bring or the things that he trusted to stop you is nothing new. It is still the things that he trusted to stop your father, to stop your grandfather. Now, so when God brings you in an environment like this, the reason why he's cooking you deeper and he's paining you in your flesh is because he's preparing you to go deeper than they went. Because if Satan comes with what he used to come with, it is nothing to you. Those things that used to fluster you, bring you down. When they come, you you rise up like what, like Caleb. You say, "This this these giants are bread. Bring them here. Let's let's eat them." Are you, don't don't you need breakfast? I have not eaten breakfast in a long while. I have seen bread. These are giants so that other people saw and they ran away and they said that we are like grasshoppers before them. What did these men see? What did they touch? In such a way that the things that they'll be telling you, you small girl, small girl, stop doing this thing you are doing. Small, do you know why they are telling? Because that's the thing that brought down your mother, your father. People that they assume is big, and you, you are small girl, you are touching it. They don't know what you have eaten. Huh? Oh, they they are looking at you. You are. They don't know you have grown a giant. That's why God is cooking you. Listen to me. As he was saying, certain things cannot come out at, at this your pressure. The key to touching deeper dimensions, pressing into glory and power, expanding your capacity, going deep into God is pressure. No pressure, no new depth. You must learn how to put pressure on the Christ in you. The scripture said, Christ in you, hope, the hope. Wait. Is not glory, is the hope. We know that glory will come out because Christ is what? He, but whether it will come out or not is dependent on you. Are you willing to mount pressure? Mount pressure on the Christ. You remember, the Bible said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, he said that, that God has made Christ unto us power, sanctification, holiness. Christ in you is character. Christ in you is power. Christ in you is sanctification. Christ in you is wisdom. Christ in you is everything. What you benefit is how much pressure. When, when you man pressure in this dimension, you see it. All these things, people are running around for money, running around. You don't know God. 